What's going on guys, it's Slightly Vicious here and I'm bringing a uh, Black Ops gameplay and it's been a while since I've played Black Ops and um, it's, er, I guess I haven't made any videos on Black Ops, I don't think so and uh, you know I just thought, you know, it's been a while so I'm gonna play Black Ops again cause you know Black Ops 2 is coming out soon which is very exciting and um, which is very exciting and I guess I guess I want to get back into Black Ops cause you know they're gonna be similar and you know map sizes and you know like not like Modern Warfare 3 so you know I've never really liked Modern Warfare 3 I think it's just me but you know there's nothing wrong with it I just don't really like it it I just rage way too much I'll scream at my TV and chuck my remote halfway across the room make a hole in my wall then I have to fix that hole and then yeah it's just all downhill from there <laughs> but um yeah so I'm using the mp5k mp5k with uh, sleight of hand gosh what is it sleight of hand rapid fire lightweight and marathon that's what they are and um so yeah I'm using that gun and um those perks and this that and this and that but okay I want to get right on topic cause you know I've been just dawdling for the, mass, the past like two minutes so you know what let's go so my topic I want to talk about today is you know, a friend asked me the other day, you know, what's the difference between a fake and real relationship? And I answered these exact questions, or I, I answered this question with these exact, you know, answers. And I hope it helps a lot of you out. I don't want, like, all of you guys being heartbroken for a relationship that you wanted to be working out. And, uh, so yeah, I want to help you guys out here. So, I'm going to just start out with a, a real relationship. And, um, first thing I could say would be, uh, she kisses you in public. That's, that's an easy one. If she really likes you, or loves you, if, if she says she loves you, then she will kiss you in public. Because, you know, that's a big thing to be around friends. And, you know, to not be made fun of is one big thing. And so, if she kisses you in public, then that's a good thing right there. Uh, second one would be, uh, she loves you, she tells you she loves you all the time. You know, if she tells you a lot, like, <laughs> excessively, or, you know, you know already. And I'm not saying, like, to the irritating point, but, like, to the point where you know that she does. That's a good sign, too. Uh, again, it's like the kisses in public, uh, she grabs your hand around friends. You know, she if she wants to hold hands, she wants to hold hands, and... You know, don't force her to hold hands with you, but, like, if she grabs your hand, that's a really good sign that she really likes you. And, you know, that's, you know, can put a smile on your face. And, um, so, yeah, um, the next one I'd say, she brags about you to her friends and family. You know, it's a good thing if she does, because that kind of just shows that she, if she's bragging about you, that's a good thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's, I can't say... It's, um, like a, a bad thing, but if she's, like, bragging about you, that is a very good thing, because she's pretty much, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, it's a good thing, is all I'm gonna say. I don't know how to explain that. Um, another one would be she makes an effort to like your friends. You know, if she, if she may be gritting her teeth at these people, but if they're your best friend and your girlfriend she definitely try to make an effort to be their friends like you know cuz if she really wants to be with you she will in fact stay and try to be friends with the friends that that are your best friends and if she doesn't like them well she's gonna try to you know start to like them if she really wants to stay with you cuz you know friends come before girlfriends any day but you know that's just uh if your friends don't like her, you might just dump her, and that's, if she really likes you, she doesn't want that, so she will try to make an effort to be your friend, or their friend. So, another topic, with her, or not another topic, but, um, would be she's always there for you. If you're going through a hard time, or even her going through a hard time, if she wants to be with you in that hard time for her, she, w she wants to be with you, and you should be with her. And so, you know, if you're having a hard day, you know, if you're at work or if you came home from school, like, fighting and you got suspended or something, or, 
you know, you got laid off from work, she will be there for you. You know, I'm not trying to just be, like, answering for, you know, high schoolers and, you know, grade schoolers, but I'm trying to answer for everyone, because, you know, if you got laid off work, she would be there for you, because she, she also feels your pain, like, uh, not physically, but mentally, she, she definitely will be there for you, trying to, you know, make you happy again, try to calm you down a little bit, but another thing would be, um, if she says she loves you after you've acted like a complete jerk, like a complete dick douchebag to her, you know, she's gonna wanna, if she really loves you, she will get over it, she will say she loves you again, and then that'll be pretty much it. She will say she loves you, and if she really means it, you'll know she means it. And, um, okay, another one, I guess that's about it, um... Yeah, so if you've got a girl that has all of these, or at least half of them, you're good. You've you've got it. You've just found yourself a keeper. Here are a few fake things that you really want to look out for. You know, there are a few problems here and there, but it would have to be um, if she never returns your call. Just it's not a good sign. I mean, if she has bad reception, yeah, that's 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 all right to pass. But if she never returns your calls after you know getting a caller ID or if she just spent some money for a caller ID and she never wants to return your calls definitely definitely that is a fake relationship and um I can't imagine that would go on much longer um another one would be she avoids public places with you cause if she's not wanting to be seen with you around friends around people around family You've got a problem because she might not love you, and she may say it, but she's probably not meaning it if she doesn't want to be seen with you. Um, if she says, let's just be friends, that's just self-explanatory. She wants to be friends. She doesn't want to be anymore. I wouldn't try to make it any better. I wouldn't try to make it, you know, more than friends. I just, if she wants to just be friends, you know... She may not even want to be friends. She just wants to say, let's be friends, you know, just to not hurt your feelings. But if she says, uh, let's just be friends, you know, I'd, I would not try to make it to where you would be more than friends. Because that's just going to lead to a, a heartbreak and no one really wants that. And, um, so yeah, you definitely don't want that. And, um... But yeah, if she doesn't, if she denies like holding your hands in public, you you definitely don't want to be with that because she definitely does not love you. And I hate to say it, but yeah, she wouldn't love you, and that's a really big problem these days. Um, and if she doesn't want to act like a couple in public, that's another big problem. If she really loves you, she will not care. She will, like I said, she'll brag about you to her friends and family, so they'll know about you. Uh, and the last one, which is probably the biggest one that you want to look out for, you definitely want to look out for this, because if not, you're going to be screwed over mentally, physically, and, you know, uh, money-wise, you'd be screwed over. If she's a material girl, um, pretty much a material girl means she's there for the money, she's there for the you know, the phone that you have, or, you know, I'm not even saying just phone, like, I'm saying phone more as in, like, probably grade school, high school, maybe, um, if she's a material girl, she'll definitely want to be, like, more, where, around the money, and more around the, the, you know, nice stuff, nice clothes, nice phone, nice, uh, shoes, you know, whatever she's really into, um, She'll definitely want to be, like, right right where all that is. If you have nice clothes, yeah, you're... I mean, I can't say you're bad. You're a bad relationship, but... If she's more acting like she wants to be clothes and... And all the nice stuff, then you've got a problem there. And, uh... So, yeah, that pretty much wraps, her, wraps it up right there. I just wanted to, you know, help you out with this topic. Because, uh, like I said, I have one of my friends asked me for it, and... You know, I wanted to help him out, so I told him all those exact things. And so, um, I guess that's just about it, guys. And I want to wrap this up on a good note. So, you know, have a good day. Have a good day. Or if it's nighttime, have a good day.
damn night. You take it easy, and I will continue gaming and bringing you these videos. So I will talk to you later, guys. Alright, peace out.